I-V-B-N, The Witch Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great sports video blogs, great entertainment video blogs, plus lots more, including history. The collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 8.31 in the evening in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's Thursday. March 23rd, 2017, about 32 degrees in Berwicka, Massachusetts. Some news to report before I go to my last video blog subject of the day from the RVBN Newswire. Do 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 do. Pat Kelsey has rescinded the offer to become UMass men's basketball coach for personal matters. Don't know what they are. Can't speculate what they are. And sad news to report in the world of music. Seb um, Hassaner, famous for being the drummer of the rock group Boston, passed away at the age of 67. So prayers to his family in this time of need. And that's about it on the news from the RBPN News. Why do, 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 be back in flash with my third and final video blog of your night, which will be about the MSG House Show card review from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, on June 14th, 1987. I'll be back in a flash. Tomorrow, on the RVBN News, on the RVBN, VBN video blogs. Three more video blogs for you. First video blog will be about the top ten personalities on ESPN that might be laid off or let go sometime in the near future because ESPN is going to have talent cutbacks. Second video blog of the day will be about Vietnam Veterans Park in Bellica, Massachusetts. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the MSG House Show card from July 25th, 1987. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about the WWE MSG House Show card results on June 14th, 1987. Headline by a rematch for the WWE Championship under Texas Death Rules. Hulk Hogan putting up his WWE title against Harley Race the King. If Hogan could not beat the King, he would retire from wrestling, plus other matches. This was on the MSG Network, called by Gorilla Monsoon and his Lordship Alfred Hayes. And here are the matches that took place on this card. The first match was a tag team match. It was a mass tag team, the Shadows who were probably preliminary wrestlers under hoods facing off against the Cam Am Connection, Tom Zink, and Rick Martel. And this was about an 18 and a half minute match, which is pretty surprising to have two preliminary wrestlers go almost a distance on an opening match. Cam Am Connection wins when Mick with Martel wins with, with a flying body cross. Afterwards, Bobby the Brain Heenan, who was doing guest commentary, came down that he challenged um, 
he was talking his mouth and the Catman Connection wanted next month to face off against the Islanders Haku and Tama. And Haku and Tama came down to the ringside area, but they were held back by the suits, the agents, what they call now producers and several referees. The next match was Billy Jack Haynes, or what Bobby the Brain Heenan would call Billy Jack, facing off against Hercules with Bobby the Brain Heenan. This match was a power match back and forth, back and forth. Went the whole 20 minutes, but actually this match went over 22 minutes. Which, surprisingly, was a good match. The next match was a tag team match. It was the Young Stallions, Jim Powers, and Paul Roma facing off against the Islanders, Haku and Tama, with Bobby the Brain. Heenan. And this was another exciting match. Lasted close to 20 minutes. Um, the Stallions almost got several new falls on the Islanders. But in the end, it was Haku who pinned Paul Roma with Tama interfering. The next match was the Junkyard Dog or what Dave Meltzer, who's the editor of the Wrestling Observer, would call in this time period, the junk food dog facing off against Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff with Bobby the Brain Heenan in his corner. This match was kind of a slow match. The junkyard dog wasn't very, very good, and Paul Roma was starting to drop down in the cards. Paul Roma won this one when he when he put the junkyard dog onto the rope. The junkyard dog would go went went down. The Paul Roma pinned him. One, two, three. The next match was the main event of the evening, which was held the third to last match of the card. It was a Texas Death match for the WWE Championship, and and Howard Finkel said um, to the um, we inside fans, st um, stay at your own power because this Texas death match was going to be rough. And it was no disqualification. It was the King Holly race with Bobby the Brain Heenan, the challenger, facing off against Hulk Hogan, the WWE championship. If Hogan would have would could not beat Holly Race, he would retire from wrestling. And this Texas death match was, you know, no holds barred, no disqualification. Holly Race get, gave Hulk Hogan some great matches in 1987, even though Holly Race's king gimmick wasn't was cartoonish. Um, he was one of top, Hogan's top challenges in, in 1987. And ending had um, the belt being brought in by Bobby the Brain Heenan and Hogan was down and Holly Race was going to do his famous headbutt off the top rope but Hogan moved and Holly Race hits the championship belt. Hulk Hogan gets up and hits Holly Race with the belt as well because it's, it's legal in a Texas death match because there's no disqualification. And Hulk Hogan did the leg drop and he pinned Holly Race 1, 2, 3, holding the WWE Championship. And that was Hogan retains the title and he doesn't have to retire. The next match was Jose Estrada facing a, out against Outback Jack. Tiny kangaroo down sport. Tiny kangaroo down. Tiny kangaroo down sport. Tiny kangaroo down. This was a total squash match. Outback Jack wins about four and a half minutes with a bulldog. And then the de facto main event was um, Billy Jack Haynes substituting for Coco Beware, who probably had the flu, teaming up with Davy Boy Smith and 
the Dynamite Kid, the British Bulldogs, facing off against Dangerous Danny Davis and the Hot Foundation, Brett the Hitman Hot and Jim the Anvil Night Hot. And this was an 18 minute match. It was a very competitive match. Back and forth, back and forth. Ending had um, Davy Boy Smith pin Bret Hart after Dynamite Kid dropped, gave him a like a punch, and that this Madison Square Garden House show card only had seven matches. It was basically a one match show with Hulk Hogan facing a guy off against Holly Race. The other matches went a lot long time because it was. Very few m matches on the card, so they had to have some matches go very long. This was a C minus, <laughs> and if they didn't get have this main event, Hogan versus um, Harley Race would probably be an F. Also, Billy Jack Haynes wrestled twice. You probably got some extra money because he was in the de facto main event, the last match of the evening. But he probably didn't get that. He didn't get extra money, and he probably bitched to it by Vince McMahon because he was known to be a complainer. And that's about it on this this video blog. Back tomorrow, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Same which time, same which channel. And keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel of New York, such a rocking cougars. Best legs in New York City, bar none. Barbara Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Best with legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. Kelly Nash of MLB Network and NHL Network. A cute leggy brunette. One of the best legs in all sports television. And Heidi Watney of the MLB Network rocks and has the best legs on the MLB Network. Network. Heidi, 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 you're so sweet. And in the words, we tell last week, no bus. Good night, everybody.